what's going on guys merry christmas happy new year all that stuff um i'm gonna do something a little bit different today uh i have done some of this way back in the past uh we, we actually used to do quite a lot of it about maybe 12 15 years ago and i'll talk to you a little bit about that experience but things have changed and products have gotten better and uh there's some reasons otherwise to try something like this so stay tuned and let's check it out paint some dormant Bermuda. I'm not going to paint the whole yard. I don't have enough stuff to do it with right now, but I'm going to test some, some product out and uh, maybe go back and get the other product that I've, that we use a little bit right now. Uh, put them head to head. Anyway, well, turf painting. There's a few reasons to do this. I mean, obviously the grass is brown and kind of boring right now. So turning it green would be awesome. And one way we usually do that is by overseeding with uh, perennial ryegrass or annual ryegrass. Both of these have a lot of drawbacks. Right now, the biggest drawback in perennial ryegrass is it's not very available and it's stupid expensive. And then the other big drawback to that is it just sets the turf back monumentally in the spring or that is that's been my experience the last couple of years and it's getting harder and harder to spray out perennial ryegrass in dormant bermuda actually so i'm going to try this turf coloring i have used a little bit of a product called endurant in the last several years and that's a, it's a pretty nice product and the appearance is pretty good and from my experience with the few places that i'd used it uh probably looking at three months this three month ish range on how long it's going to last in the past like i'll say in 10 or 12 years ago we had tried some of them maybe it's longer than that it's time doesn't really work that good for me anymore anyway in the past i had painted a bunch of places including some uh a soccer field we used to deal with and then some commercial properties but the product that was available at the time it's a little bit off the appearance wasn't that good and as it faded it faded to blue instead of green so that wasn't uh all that cool but uh i got hold on i got a story about turf paint all right my turf painting story from the past um back in the day i used to do a lot more commercial properties mowing and stuff and uh I dropped a guy off at a uh, Walmart store, as a matter of fact, uh, to uh, do some painting. And uh, back then we had the, the uh, steel SG-20 backpacks that just come out. They're pump-up kind. And uh, the guys always, I, I told them and told them, but the way they like to use them is they, they, they pump as they spray, pump, 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 and just, I mean, blow the things up eventually. But the SG-20 has a little rubber line that goes from the external pressure canister to the uh, actual tank. And that thing would fail sometimes. And he was out there turf painting the front of the uh, Walmart grass and the line blew up and painted his rear end green, the sidewalk green, everything else. So that's my turf painting story from the past. And like I said, with the older product, there was always just something a little off with it once you sprayed it you could tell that it was painted it's kind of like the guy in high school who would put the 5 emblems on the side of his four-cylinder mustang it was still a mustang but it's just a little bit off so we're going to get down some of this newer product now and there's a few different things out there and i'll try to talk a little bit about what i know about them so stay tuned this particular product that i'm going to use today the uh the representative from the company actually dropped it off at my uh, my chemical suppliers uh, to give to me to make a video on, and it's this kind. So this is called Guru Turf, and they've got a colorant and a pigment. The colorant is going to be a paint. That's what you're going to want to use on dormant grass. The pigment is going to be something that you can use to boost up turf color. So we got dormant grass, so we're going to use the colorant 
Guru Turf. I, I don't know a thing about this company or these people. Uh, they had left this for me at the place Triangle Chemical where I buy my chemicals with my salesman and said, hey, give it to that guy who makes those videos. And let him. But that was back in the summer and I, you know, I didn't need to paint anything in the summer. But now I do and I'm not gonna be able to paint a whole lot with this, but <laughs> I'm gonna paint some and maybe use uh, some of the endurant product to finish off the rest of the yard or get some more of this and split it half and half and just see if there's any difference in longevity or color or anything like that. And this color is the timber green, which I believe is the darkest color out of the three that this company offers. Timber green. All right, so this same uh, mix rate as the endurant you get it down to about a 14, 15 to one solution with your water. So in a backpack sprayer is what we're gonna be spraying this with. That means about uh, six to eight ounces a gallon. Let's get to mixing. Whoa. It's like we mix anything else. I put about a quarter of the water in there. And I just went ahead and dumped the whole 32 ounces in and then filled it the rest of the way up. See what this stuff does. minutes in this little spot it's gone from dormant Bermuda <laughs> to lush greenness it looks pretty good obviously the more coats you put on the darker the color will get but uh, it looks so natural it looks so much more natural than the than the old stuff and this product seems to have a pretty similar appearance as the endurant uh, well one thing you want to keep in mind when you're putting it on it doesn't hurt to go one direction to come back the other so or to spray straight down on it so either way but the more coats you put on the darker it gets obviously that that, that looks a little light in the picture but it's uh it, it doesn't really look like that in person but i'm noticing looking on the camera phone it looks a little light the better the turf is the finer the turf is the more natural it looks i mean <laughs> you can't really argue with that. That's pretty damn cool. All right, so these are products typically used in golf or athletic fields. So they're going to be a little spendy. But uh, in all honesty, the cost of ryegrass right now and the effect 
that ryegrass has on your turf when it's trying to come out of dormancy uh, is probably a more economical move and plus there's going to be obviously no mowing and it you may have to reapply depending on how it fades out through the course of the winter the weather conditions all that kind of stuff but uh that if if you do reapply like later and the grass is still painted when it's trying to come out of dormancy it actually from what we've seen it actually will help it out a little bit it'll help it green green up a little faster because it keeps it kind of insulated and warm and it gets a little quicker green up versus the rye grass just freaking killing it um but pretty cool look uh doesn't take long to do pretty easy straightforward to spray it out of your tank and obviously you're going to want to clean your equipment out after you spray it but there you go rye grass alternative but i mean i don't know what it looks like on the camera but in person it looks looks super so it's really natural and dark again it's pretty natural looking looks looks even better in person uh, but anyway that's what you tell everybody right no nah, i mean it looks pretty cool And you can you still see the mower tracks in it from where it's laid over one way or the other. How about that? Like I said, the Guru Turf, Turf Guru paint, colorant, whatever they call it, timber green was gifted to me. So I don't know what it cost. Um, but I, I didn't really have any contact with the company because I, I never saw the guy. But... Uh, anyway uh seems like a pretty pretty good turf paint very natural looking covers good we'll see how long it lasts and we'll do some more with this i i might paint the rest of the yard at least the front yard anyway with either some more of this or the uh endurant to see what whatever is available at triangle chemical in wilson shameless plug but anyway we'll see see what they got and if i can get the the endurant and this i might half and half the yard and we'll do a head to head or even with that right there like that it would be all right well it's uh, like new year's eve today so i don't know if they're even open but i'll try them out later this week there it is and as far as uh when to spray it uh I looked on the websites and they even say, even if the grass is a little damp, it's probably even a little better to spray it then because you'll get a little better coverage. They want about eight, eight hours or so before a heavy rain event. So you got to kind of time it out like that and uh, clean out your spray equipment. Don't eat it. Although I'm sure it's ecologically sound and all that stuff. They would, they would have it no other way. But anyway, pretty neat product pretty neat uh, idea good alternative to ryegrass ryegrass is uh like i say rare and expensive right now and also in the spring it if you use annual ryegrass it's a pain in the butt because it grows like an insane rate and it makes a mess to mow if you use perennial ryegrass it's very hard now to get out of your uh favorable turf and while it's in there stressing out with the spring and summer weather it it sets Bermuda back immensely. And I, I would never put Bermuda ryegrass on anything but Bermuda. And uh, as far as painting this, I, I'm pretty sure you can paint other kinds of turf. We've painted some centipede in the past. Best, best it ever looked. But uh, anyway, there you go. Turf painting. Happy New Year.